Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in today's video, we are going to talk about what are the certifications that have helped me to crack Walmart as my organization. I was one among you in last two years back when I didn't had any guidance or no one have told me that Praveen, you have to do these certifications, which can give you these kind of job offers. Now, after working two years at Walmart, I came to know that still these certifications are very relevant for your job search in 2024 also. Now, before moving ahead to this video, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for any DevOps and SRE content and for your job help. And if you are liking the content going ahead, like the video before moving ahead let's get distribute the certifications whatever i have done so guys for all the certifications i spent almost one lakh and ten thousand rupees because i knew that when we spend something on ourselves right when we want to upskill when we want to make sure that okay we, we, we whatever we don't know we want to learn something new, right? And that's where the certifications come into picture. Now, I have seen many, many people holding 20 certifications, 10 certifications. I don't know how they are achieving those certifications, but if you give some exam to them, if you give some, uh, I mean, oral questions to them, they might not be able to answer properly. So what I feel or what the path I have chosen is the three certifications which are very much demand by the companies I have chosen those and it costed me around 1.1 lakh. Now the price distribution, what are the topics that I went through these certifications and from where you can take those certifications. I'll be giving you the clear detailed as we go ahead into this video. So let's start. Now the first certification which I felt I should be doing is the Red Hat Linux system administration. Now this is a certification which is given by Red Hat at the cost of 43,000. Now it might sound high. Now here they are dividing their training and the certification into two parts. The training costs around 16,000 and the rest of out of the 43,000 goes for your certification. Now, if you feel that this amount is a little bit high, then don't go for the certification, only go for the training because in training, all the real time scenarios with respect to your Linux systems will be covered in this uh, Red Hat certified uh, uh, Linux system administration, right? So some of the topics which have really helped me in the interview is basically your disk management, your volume management, your partitioning, along with that, your Linux uh, user management, file management, network management, right? Along with that, there were many other questions which have been asked to me in the Walmart interview like your firewalls management, right? Security management, SC Linux management, and many, many things uh, which are associated with your uh, Linux systems. Along with that, I was also able to put those similar lines of uh, tasks, whatever I have done in the, uh, in the training and the certification concept, I've kept those things in my resume also. So if you have not checked my resume of Walmart, the link is in the description below. You can check that out. Now going on to the second certification, the second certification I have done was the Kubernetes certification. Now this certification costed me around 10,000 to 12,000 rupees. Now basically this is the third party certification which I have done. Uh, because at that time, I, what I felt is I have already put 80 to 90,000 of rupees into two certifications only. And this was a third certification down the line two years back. I was going through that. So what I felt was instead of keeping another 40,000 over the certification or 30,000 over the Kubernetes certification, I preferred for taking a local Kubernetes certification. So basically I have done the certification from some institute, which took me, uh, took from me around 12,000 rupees. And I felt okay, because at that point of time, when I was shifting from Verizon to Walmart, uh, the type of knowledge I was lacking was in Kubernetes. And I knew that and market was expecting Kubernetes. So I took around one month of training. And uh, in that one month of training, whatever I've learned, I've kept that into my uh, Verizon to Walmart's transition journey. Also, if you are looking for the Verizon resume, just check out the links in the description. You will find my Verizon resume also. Now, 
I am very grateful to all the organizations which have helped me to upskill. And uh, to be very honest, in the Walmart round two, I, I still remember uh, my, uh, I mean, you can call like a manager from the USA, right? Who was interviewing me around 10 p.m. in the in the uh, late night, right? He, he guessed that I didn't work on Kubernetes, and he he asked me the question also, Praveen, have you not? Uh, have you really worked on the Kubernetes? And I confidently sat in front of him in the interview, and I said like, yes. Yes, I have worked on the uh, on the inter, um, uh, in the inter, uh, Kubernetes concepts, and I also know like how the scaling happens in Kubernetes, and I have also integrated all our Jenkins pipeline with the Kubernetes. Though I have not worked in Kubernetes in Verizon, I was able to manage in the interview, and that's how I have got my uh, 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 Walmart's uh, rounds getting cleared. Though he knew that I didn't. Uh, know the knowledge in depth but what he saw in me was my confidence my ability to explain him the situations my ability to uh, get some awards from my previous organization which i cracked right and all those things he believed that this this person can do some tasks if we give to him in the down the line uh, if he is joining walmart so when i called to the recruiter also like after two days because i didn't got a call back from walmart i called the recruiter and the recruiter said praveen uh, there are some chances and there might be not some chances because whoever has taken your interview from on site has given a word that you are somewhere lacking on these these terms and that's where kubernetes was also a part of uh, whatever the tech stack he said uh, I was lacking in. So I said to the recruiter that, okay, sure, no issues. Whatever the outcome is, do let me know. I'll be waiting for your feedback. And meanwhile, he also suggest me, suggested me that for the third round, if you are clearing, please work on your Kubernetes concepts a little bit more, right? So that's how I understood that, yes, Linux was very important. Kubernetes was very important. And uh, these two certifications have really, really helped me to crack Walmart guys. Now, the third certification which I done was Red Hat Ansible Administration. Now, this certification I have put close to 48,000 rupees, both training and certification. And I have taken this training and certification from Red Hat Certified Training Institute in Hyderabad. And if you don't believe that I have did this certification, you can check out my LinkedIn. LinkedIn link is in the description. So. When I did the Ansible administration, right, the only thing which I was expecting was because in Verizon, all the tech stack was in Ansible, I was able to cope up with Ansible things. But still somewhere the Ansible towers or Ansible galaxies or Ansible roles or Ansible uh, writing complex playbooks, I was a little bit facing difficulty. So I saw that Walmart is also using Ansible and I thought like, okay, this I can do in uh, if I if I do some certifications, I can definitely get the idea of cracking the interviews. Now I would like to tell you all that yes, that has really really helped me to boost my confidence. And also, you might be thinking that Praveen, what is the span of the time that has taken you to complete these three certifications? So let me tell you very honestly. Uh, two certifications I was going parallelly like you can see like Red Hat Certified Linux System Administration. I joined the morning batch from the Red Hat Training Institute in Hyderabad. So it was like around 7 p.m. 7 a.m. to 8.30 uh, a.m. in the morning. And the second one in the Kubernetes I was doing the evening. So Kubernetes was one month only. So I completed in one month. Red Hat was like 45 to 60 days, I think close to two months. So I did that also. And uh, once the Kubernetes I have done because there was no exam I, I have to write. So I directly taken the uh, Red Hat Ansible Administration also so it took me around good three to four months to complete all the certifications and trust me guys i will be telling very honestly that i failed in first attempts of both red hat linux system administration and red hat ansible administration now because the red hat was giving some offers at that time that second attempt is also free i was fortunate enough and i have written the second attempt of both the uh, certifications and i was able to clear now if you are looking for something which you feel that yes I should upskill, I should make sure that I am standing on my feet. I should be able to make sure that I am making my parents proud. Definitely spend on yourself, guys. Don't listen to anyone. If you are spending on yourself, definitely the returns will be good. But only one thing is, let's see, there, uh, there will be many training partners. Uh, trust the genuinity and uh, talk to uh, other students who have passed out from the training institute and make sure that you are joining uh, after going after doing the deep uh, uh, thorough analysis because uh, red had two certifications i knew that they are from partner training institute so i didn't had any doubt but when i was looking for the kubernetes i was expecting that this kubernetes sessions or the training should be 
in less cost at the same time uh, the content should be very good so i chose one of the institute i will not really reveal the name but if you want you can check out uh, the details in the linkedin now that's all for today's video i think that i have helped you in understanding how the market in 2024 is demanding you should be knowing kubernetes you should be knowing linux you should be knowing ansible jenkins uh, terraform aws or any sort of cloud uh, along with python and shell scripting and some kind of automations to upskill yourself so that's all for today's video you have liked the video it means like the video share the channel link with your friends and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon okay bye meet you all in the next video